a race for survival. A sea lion is caught in Oregon's Willamette River, tagged, <laughs> and driven 130 miles to be set free in the Pacific Ocean. But all this effort isn't to save one creature, it's to help protect an entire fish population from extinction. Um, we're estimating that there's nearly a 90% probability that at least one of the populations in the Willamette could go extinct if predation continues unchecked. That's of all the adults that are returning to the falls there, a quarter of them are getting eaten. Wild winter steelhead and spring chinook salmon populations in this Pacific Northwest River are in peril. And scientists say these sea lions are to blame. Once extensively hunted for their fur, their numbers have rebounded, and they are swimming further and further inland up the Columbia River and its tributaries where they feast on salmon and steelhead. When the Chinook run is peaking, that's when the sea lions are at their peak, there might be 40 sea lions hauled out all along here. While sea lions are protected under the Marine Mammal Protection Act, the federal government has made special exceptions to help save the fish. Oregon wildlife managers have killed nearly 170 sea lions at Bonneville Dam since 2008. The state has now asked the government for permission to do the same at Willamette Falls. Anglers and Native American tribes say they support plans to kill the sea lions at the new location. And legislation in Congress currently has the potential to loosen the regulations further. You know, on most, most of the days that I'm out here, um, you see so many of these, these fish that are killed, and there's some days I see them killed, and they're not even eating the fish, they're just letting them float. <laughs> But opponents say sea lions are not the only reason for troubled salmon and steelhead runs. The problems that are facing the steelhead that are swimming up the Willamette River um, were created by uh, overfishing, by loss of habitat, by blocked passages, and issues that have nothing to do with sea lions. If you don't fix the actual problem that faces the fish that's causing the problem, then killing sea lions is, is not going to help. Biologists facing a delicate balance, trying to save one species at the expense of another. How many do you think there are? Um, probably like a hundred. In a river that's now home to both. Gillian Flaccus, Associated Press, Oregon City, Oregon.